Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Spencer Burke. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're going to do a quick one on talking about my top 10 favorite wheels. Now, I was going to put this on my second channel, but since it's so car related and there's a lot of BMW content in here, I wanted to put it on my main channel. One thing I wanna mention before we get into this is that I wanna give credit to everyone who took these photos. I try to get as much information as I could on who took the photos with the watermark on the bottom. Unfortunately, not all of them had it. So if you took one of these photos, please feel free to contact me and I will put your information below in the description. I hope you don't mind me using your photos. I'm happy to give you credit where it's due. So just as a quick note, this is my top 10 list of my personal favorites. This is not the top 10 for BMWs. This is not the top 10 in general. This is just what I like. I've owned a bunch of different cars in the past, including a Subaru, an IS300, and an E30. Now I have my E90Xs that I love, but I wanted to make a video about the wheels that I've picked up on over the last couple of years, actually for a long time. I feel like there's wheels in here that people may not know about, and also wheels that you can probably relate to, which you can probably already guess it, TE37s does fall on this list 100%, so you will see those at some point. But this is actually gonna go in order from top 10, 10 being, I guess, my least favorite, but still my favorite, to one, which would be my ultimate favorite wheels of all time, which has changed over the years. As I got older, my opinion changed, and I'm gonna share that with you right now. So coming in at number 10. The Forged R F14, the super concave wheel. This wheel I fell in love with mainly because of this picture right here, or I should say these photos. These are the first photos I'd ever seen of my blue E90 that I owned a couple years ago that I took delivery of in front of the dealership. If you haven't seen that video, it's probably one of my most emotional videos and also one of my most special videos because I shared the journey from waking up to taking delivery to driving the car and then obviously reviewing it and then modifying the hell out of it over the years. But these were the first photos I saw on AutoTrader or Cars.com, wherever I bought it from in Texas. And the previous owner put on a set of 20 inch F14 wheels, which were absolutely gigantic. Uh, for me, it just has nostalgic attached to it. And also I have seen F14s on other vehicles, including a twin turbo Gintani M3 that I filmed. And the wheel just has such a unique look to it. It has such a deep concave face that you just don't see that on many other wheels. And they do have flat faced ones too, which I don't think look that great, but they make a wide variety of wheels. They make drag wheels, they make street wheels. I like the concavity, I think it looks insane. And especially when you run a really beefy tire, it's just hard to beat a look like that. Coming in at number nine. the Advan GT. This is one of my favorite wheels on the Nissan GTR, the R35s. I've seen it on a couple other cars before, but recently I saw an F80 that had it and I just think it's such a cool wheel. It shows so much of the brake caliper because being five spoke, it leaves so much room between to see your rotor and your caliper. So if you have a big brake kit or your factory brakes are huge, this is a good wheel to have to show off. And if you can run the offset, you can run a really deep lip with it, which I think looks absolutely awesome and for some reason i like these in white a lot there's also a gtr that i used to see in san diego when i lived there that was red with gold wheels i don't think this is the exact car but i found one that was similar to it and i've also seen a couple other cars run it but i really like that five spoke setup and i can't imagine how easy it is to clean those compared to other wheels on the market it's almost like i think a one less spoke than te37 coming in at number eight be the Enki NT03. This is a very JDM wheel and a lot of people I think don't like the wheel. I didn't like it at first. I remember playing Forza back in the day and I would never pick this wheel only because I feel like Forza only offered it in the flat face setup with the really bad offset. If you can get an NT03 in a very good offset with a good tire, you can make it look amazing on a German car or a Japanese car. For some reason, these wheels just scream track setup and I love the look of it. I've probably fallen in love the most between the Subaru STI and also the E46 M3. These wheels work very well on these cars. Um, I also had seen an Evo with a set of these and they just suit the car perfectly. I think in almost any color, whether it's gold, white, or black, even silver, it looks good on anything. I think it's a wheel that you have to learn to like because it's just unique. It has the ring around it and it's just a little bit off 
compared to what other wheels look like. But if you're in the JDM scene, you've probably seen them on a lot of cars. I just think they look great. I like them a lot, especially on the Subaru. That white Subaru with the silver ones, I love, love, love that look. This may cause a little bit of mayhem in the comments, but coming in at number seven. The Volk Racing TE37. This is a wheel that is popular on every single car, and it looks good on every single car. Somehow it works. The first one I'm gonna show you is this hot rod. How crazy is that? It looks so cool on that. I've seen them on E90 M3s, I've seen them on E36 M3s, I've seen them on Skylines. It looks so good on the Nissan Skyline, the GTR. There's no bad application when it comes to a TE. They're just so simple, you can paint them any color. One thing that I like is having one spoke painted a different color. That's just so unique to me. I like to stand out, be a little bit different. Seeing a spoke painted different colors on drift cars or street cars, it adds so much extra personal touch to that person's vehicle that it makes them stand out even more. I've seen them on off-road cars, I've seen them on luxury SUVs and they have a sense of class to them. I know that from Volk directly, you can order them in bronze or white, even red. I had red TE37s on my E90 at one point from the factory. So Volk is definitely open, it seems like, to giving all these color schemes out where people can pick and choose from the factory, which tends to hold value for resale in the future. Uh, but for me, I really like them in any color. I like them in white probably the most. But as we all know, well, as most people know, white is extremely hard to keep clean on a wheel because there's brake dust, even on a motorcycle. I mean, really? That's so cool. <laughs> number five is a wheel that is a little bit different. Um, it's something that I don't think a lot of people would think about liking, but it's the factory magnesium wheel from the GT2 RS YSEC package, the GT3 RS YSEC package, and also the 918 Spider. I believe from the factory, don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure it's a BBS wheel that Porsche uses for these cars. They're stamped BBS from what I've seen. And they're the upgraded option for the YSEC package. Now I hope that's correct. Regardless, we're talking about wheels here. This style of wheel is a BBS RE1757. The magnesium wheel, it weighs nothing. That's why they're so expensive. I think a brand new set on eBay is going for $25,000 right now. Just for the set of four silver wheels for a GT2 RS, that's a lot of money for wheels. I thought five grand was a lot for wheels, 25,000. I mean, it makes sense. It's the high-end Porsche cars. So those GT cars tend to get a little bit expensive. One of the main reasons why they do tend to run so expensive is that they are center lock wheels. So if you look at it, there's no lug nuts on it. It's just one lug that goes on the car and it holds it on. It's like a race car setup. I love that. I think it looks so cool. Coming in at number four. We're starting to get to the really good stuff. The Apex EC7. I've ran these on my car before and they're one of my favorite wheels for sure. I can say that about all 10 of these wheels that everything is my favorite. These ones are very popular in the racing scene where you can pick up a set of four of them for really, really, really affordable prices and in multiple finishes. The Apex EC7 in matte black was one of the wheels I had on my E92. After seeing these photos, I miss it a lot to be completely honest. Now from Apex, they actually offer an option to pick out either a red center cap or a black center cap and I think red looks really cool. I like that Apex does that directly. I think that's just a cool little touch on these cars that a lot of people may not pay attention to but then once you put them on, people will notice it that it makes the wheel stand out just that much more. But if you look at the overall design of the wheel, it's very straightforward, it's very simple. I know BBS makes a similar product to this and this is obviously the much more affordable option for people who go to the track. They wanna go rip on the track and not worry about having to curb a wheel or hurt something because these wheels are very strong. Overall, they complement all these M3s tremendously. I've seen them on a couple of other cars. One thing about that wheel too is you can fit a really beefy tire on it and it looks like such a good Nürburgring race car. I love that look personally. Coming in at number three. 
Ray's Graham Lights 57 DR. It's a mouthful, but it is a JDM wheel that I personally love. I've seen them on a lot of JDM cars and they offer in so many different finishes that you can really pick and choose what you want. I'm a huge S15 fan. I love S15s and these wheels just complement so many JDM cars. They suit it like it's straight out of Japan. I don't have much to say about the wheel besides I like the design. I don't know too much about it, but I've seen them on so many different JDM cars that for me personally, I'm just a big fan of these. Same thing that I was talking about before with the, the bigger spokes on these wheels allow you to see more of the brakes on these cars, especially if you have a big brake kit. I don't know. I just like them. They fall in there for me. They're, they're up there. I would maybe redo this list a little bit. I think these rays would fall a little bit before, but it's okay. I like the wheels a lot. Two more left. Coming in at number two. Apex ARC8. Now I can go on and on and on about these wheels for an hour, if not longer. I've had three sets of these in my lifetime. I'm sorry, I've had four sets of Apex. I've had five sets of Apex wheels, but I've had three of those. Those were ARC8s. Now you can call them ARC8s, you can call them ARC8s, whatever you wanna call it. I prefer to say ARC8s, it's just easier. So I picked up a set of these for myself recently and also one of my employees to put on his three series. And I have a set on mine right now on my E92 M3. I love how these can look so different on so many different cars, depending on what color you choose, what offset you do, and what size wheel you get. I ran a 19 inch on my E90. I also ran an 18 on my E92 and Parker ended up running a 17 on his car. The thing that gets me going back to the F14 style is that the concavity is one of my favorite things. I love how when you look at this from a certain angle, these wheels, there's so much edge to them. There's so much depth. They look so good in any color. Now I had black ones for a while. They kind of get blended in after a bit. You just don't notice the design. When you keep them silver or bronze or gray, you can really, really see the overall design and they look like a race car setup, which is what I love the most. When you pair them up with a big meaty tire, they feel so proper. They're very affordable, which is what I like. I know Apex is known for doing group buys. I've seen them all over for doing really good deals when 10 to 20 to 30 people buy a set at a time, all over the forums. They've been around for a long time. They had a great reputation and I've been a fan forever, not only because of how they look, but also the company itself. I support them, I know the team over there. They've always been supportive of what I do, and it's something that I like to stay loyal to as a company who treats me well. The big moment, number one, my number one favorite wheel. BBS E88s. Now I know a lot of people are super happy with that and I know a lot of people are cringing at that and I understand. When I was younger and I looked at these wheels, I thought they were super ugly. I thought they did not look good. I was so confused on why so many people ran these wheels at the racetrack and I get it. I understand. They're the opposite somewhat of being concave. They look a little bit unique, but for me, I have gone from the Subaru scene to the only modifying my car before I do maintenance. And now I did all the maintenance on my M3. I take care of it and I wanna track it and I wanna get more into racing. I did simulator racing for a while. I watched a lot of F1. I've been to F1. The motorsports part of me really kicked in about three or four years ago and I started looking at more race spec wheels. I started watching a lot of YouTube at the Nürburgring and I noticed that all the E90Xs ran E88s, which is something that I was blown away by because I didn't get the hype on it. After seeing on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, every day for years, I really started to fall in love with the design, especially gold with a chrome lip. I don't know what it is, but there's something about those wheels that are so damn baller they're expensive as hell. They're like 5,000 bucks for a set, for like a brand new set, sometimes even more, depending on your offset and your color and everything like that from the factory. But I think also one thing too is there were two people that inspired me heavily, which was Brett Slicer on Instagram. He is a hobbyist for BBS wheels. He sells them. And also this guy, Django, he's a Nürburgring guy that has a Porsche and also an E92 M3. And he has the most intense fitment on Pirelli Trofeo R's on E88s that were gold and then he painted them black and they look so, so good on his setup because my car is the twin to that and I want to replicate that and also I would love to do gold wheels one day. But if I can, I would like to pick up a set hopefully the end of this year and also they look great on Porsches. GT3 RS, a lot of you guys may know that's my dream car right now. I want to pick one up when I can. They look so good. There's something about those wheels that just look so track oriented. They're not too busy. They're not crazy, they're not flashy. I just like how when enthusiasts look at them or when you, when someone like me looks at them, 
you have like respect. You understand that that's a high quality part. It's a BBS wheel. BBS is super, super legit. They also look pretty gangster on a Ferrari too. I mean, I've seen them on a couple different platforms and that looks amazing, but definitely E90X, BBS E88s are just my number one favorite wheel right now. Now you may be asking, uh, this is the end of the video, what about BBS LMs? I like them, they look good. Uh, there's probably a couple other wheels that I'm missing. There was one wheel that I wanted to put in here, but it's not really like a, it's not a street wheel, I don't see it often, but it's often M4 GTS race car. I just saw this guy on Instagram, put him on his E92 and I fell in love. Another thing that I've noticed is that when you put these race car wheels on street cars, I fall in love with it. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this quick video. It's currently raining here in Florida and I wanted to do some feature films this weekend, but it's Super Bowl weekend. It's kind of crazy around town and I just don't have the ability to right now. So I wanted to make a video on my top 10 favorite wheels. If you enjoyed this video, let me know, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Also check out my second channel where I'll do more videos like this that are a little bit off topic. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.